Hello, everyone, and welcome to the best and worst of Walt Disney World. I'm your host, Pete Werner, joined this week, as always, by my good friend, Mr. Steve Porter. Hello. And my other good friend, our producer, Mr. Craig Williams. Hello. Still dark and dreary back there. And we're all, we all wear the same clothes every week. We have yeah. outfits. We have outfits for each month. We wear them on each show. Or we pre-record them all one after another on the same day and are not changing our clothes in between. You decide what it is we're doing. But, all right, so this week we wanted to talk, and this was Steve's idea, and I thought it was a great one, um, best and worst times to visit Walt Disney World. And again, we've done a poll Mm -hmm. because we live here. We live here. So, you know, we know for locals when the best and worst times to go is, but not so much, maybe. Yeah, I think think this will be good, useful, helpful information for first timers that, you know, have never been before. Maybe you don't have a lot of Disney friends that can recommend them a time to go. This will give you a good um, idea of, you know, when are good times and when are bad times. And maybe we'll, you know, interject why those are the way they are. Right. And we're going to talk about the top three, what your votes were for the top three best times to visit and the bottom three worst times to visit. But we also want to talk about some of the ones that kind of went up in the middle, um, just to give you some options. But uh, let's start with uh, let's start with the worst this time. We've okay. started with the best in the last few. Let's start with the worst this time. Number three, actually, the worst, the number three worst time to go to Disney World was a three-way tie <laughs> between mid-July, late June, and early July. Um, so uh, they all received 1.1% of the votes cast. Now, of course, people could vote on more than one um, time of the year. So, uh, you know, but 1.1% of all the votes cast. And how many votes do we have on this in total? We have um, 1,967 votes. Which makes this, I think, the most voted on of the polls that we have done the last couple months. Mm-hmm. Um, because normally it's about a thousand, between eight hundred and a thousand. So people were people were definitely uh, wanting to Voice. participate yeah. in this. Um, also, because they can vote more than once uh, for, more, for more than one thing, and there's a lot more options. It could be that too. But we're going to go with it was a popular poll. <laughs> um, so mid July, late June, and early July all tied for third worst time to visit at one point one percent. Number two, early August. At 0.9%. How many votes did that actually translate into? You're looking at the poll. Uh, early August was actually part of the tie. Was it? Yeah, so I have mid-July, early July, and early August as the seven that are tied with, or the three that are tied with seven votes. Oh, okay. I wrote them down wrong. So what, what are they again? So it's mid-July, early July, and early August. Okay, so I had late June down instead. So... Um, And what came in at number two then? So number two was late June. Late June, number two. And that was with how much of the vote? That was with 1% of the vote, or 1% of the vote with six votes total. Only six people thought late June was a good time to go to Disney (laughs) World. Um, And what comes in then at number one? Number one is late July. Late July. Um, And These all have something in common, clearly. Right. It's all in the summer. It's all in the summer. It's also when the kids are out of school. And it's the hottest time of the year. Mm Mm-hmm. It's one of the Um, busiest times. And because the kids are out of school, it's the busiest time. And it also tends to be more expensive. Although in recent months, in recent years, we are noticing that there are some pretty steep discounts happening at certain resorts uh, throughout the summer months. I, I, you know, talked to last year about, I was able to get a theme park view concierge room at the Polynesian over 4th of July weekend for like $500 a night. Unheard of, Mm. unheard of. Um, so there are, you know, there are things are changing. Things are changing because people are just, you know, <laughs> you're hearing about crowds all year long. Mm-hmm. And people are saying, okay, well, if it's crowded in January, it's going to be absolutely out of control in July. Plus, it's going to be hot. I, I either won't go or I'll, I'll, I'll go at a different time of year. I think the other thing that these months all suffer from is because it's it typically was the more crowded time. They don't do some of the fun extra things like Mickey's not so scary or Merry Merry Christmas party or I mean it's obviously not the holiday season. Well, but there's, yeah, there's, there's say doing Mickey's very Merry Christmas party in right. July might be a little off. Not, right. But, but I'm just saying there's not as many extra things going on around the summertime that they do that could also be why people don't like to book around this time. 
All right, so let's take a look at the best list. Let's tell me what the number three best time to visit Walt Disney World is. On number three best time is mid September with twenty point three percent of the vote. Twenty point three percent of the vote mid September, and uh, again now kids are in school. Uh, it can still be hot in mid September. We really don't start seeing a real break in the heat here until the October time frame. Sometimes not until November. We've had some years where we haven't gotten a break from the heat until after Thanksgiving. But so mid-September is still warm, but the kids are back in school, so the crowds are lower. But this is also historically for many years now when free dining is available. Mm. And so that has a big impact when people can get free dining. Uh, What comes in at number two, Steve? Number two is early November with 20.6% of the vote. Early November. Now, sometimes free dining will extend into early November, but now we've gotten into the cooler period. Uh, Kids still in school. So the prices, generally speaking, are a little bit more competitive than you would find them, generally speaking, in the summertime. Also in common with both of these, uh, food and wine is going on. (laughs) Food and wine festival. Absolutely. A huge draw. Um, Massive draw. For, for Disney World. For sure. Um, that's why they keep expanding it every year, because it does draw people in. Um, and what about the number one, best time of the year to visit Number Walt one World? with 29.9% of the vote is early December. And I think before we talk about it, I think it's important to note the difference between two and three and three and four and five, these are all the differences of three or four votes. The difference between Early December being the number one and early November being the number two is 175 votes to 100, or 121 votes. So it's a big gap. There's a big gap. Yeah, early December, absolutely the most popular time of year. Um, crowds, well, you know, I think people think crowds are going to be lower. They aren't necessarily because a lot of people want to go. That's why it's number one. Um, but you... You, you get Christmas. You get all the Christmas decorations, all the Christmas events. By early December, the resorts are all decorated. Uh, Not super hot. You've got Mickey's a very merry Christmas party going on. You have a lot, you know, uh, holiday fireworks over at Epcot. You've got a lot of a lot of things going on, and it's a great way to start celebrating the holidays. It's certainly, you know, look the fall, and you know. From September through December, my absolute favorite time of year to be at Disney World, to be here in Orlando, <clears throat> the coolest stuff we get to do when we live here. You know, part of our annual tradition is candlelight processional at Epcot and going to the Christmas party and going, you know, going around the resorts and seeing the different, you know, going around the resorts, seeing the decorations is kind of, you know, when I was living up in Jersey and now we're going back a few years. I think people still do it. But going down Fifth Avenue and looking at the, the decorated retail windows on Fifth Avenue, that was a thing you did. Um, and it's kind of like that here in terms of going around to the resort. So <clears throat> completely understandable why early December is such a popular time. Well, yeah, you get, and you get all those things, but you don't deal. I mean, like you said, it's more crowded than it used to be, but it, you don't deal with the late or mid-December crowds. Right. So you're, you're getting to enjoy all those things without like shoulder-to-shoulder traffic. And generally speaking, pricing stay at the resorts stays pretty reasonable up until about a week before Christmas. Mm-hmm. Then you start seeing you know, peak holiday prices go into effect. Mm-hmm. But I want to talk about some of the ones that kind of fell in the middle of this poll because what we're looking at here obviously the three worst are the times that kids are in school are out of school so it's easier for a lot of parents who can't pull their kids out um the three best ones are generally when kids are in school mid-september early november early december kids are in school parents can't pull them out and that's kind of a rule of thumb but if the kids are in school crowds are going to be less here at disney world the kids are out of school Crowds are going to be higher. But let's talk about some of those ones that kind of fell in the middle. Uh, Early September is kind of in the middle. Uh, So it could be depending on when your kid goes back to school. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, there's some schools that start in August, some that start the second week of September or the first week of September sometime. So it kind of just could depend Mm -hmm. on that. Um, So that that was again, that also corresponds uh, historically with free dining when free dining is available. So that was at 15.7% of the vote. So that one was, you know, I was actually expecting to see that one a little higher, but 
it, I mean, that still did did fairly well. Um, stuff like, I don't know, what what else are we looking for? So maybe, um, are we looking for things that still did slightly well, maybe? Yeah, it's kind um, of in the middle of the range there. So late October um, got 15% of the vote, maybe celebrating Halloween. Mm-hmm. It's not one of the super, super popular um, holidays, but it's still a time to be Halloween on. at Mickey's Not So Scary sells out yeah. on Halloween night. It's almost always sold out. So that could be one of the ones why that's why that's so high. But again, and that's also an awesome time to be there with your kids, mm-hmm. to do trick-or-treating in the Magic Kingdom. I love the Halloween party. I think I love the Halloween party actually more than I love the Christmas party. I love them both, but I think I love the Halloween party a little bit more. There's just another vibe to it, and it's it's a it's a fun Halloween vibe. And not that you know Universal isn't fun, but Universal scares the crap out of you with uh, <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights. But uh, early February got 16.4 percent of the vote. That one I think is probably people trying to get in before the spring break uh, mm-hmm. crowds arise. See, um, and I've always felt I've always felt January. Is an awesome time to visit because, you know, kids are all back at school. Everybody spent their money on Christmas, so the you know, we've we definitely had days this past January that were quite busy. I won't say that we didn't, but generally speaking, I find January and correct me guys if you think I'm wrong. I find January to be the least crowded month of all. Maybe yeah, I would say it's up there. I would say it's probably in the. What, it, what what's less crowded than January? The tough part is in January now uh, with starting Festival of the Arts last year. You also have Marathon Weekend. A lot of marathons. So it's not really necessary. If you can avoid, if you can, right? If you can avoid Marathon Weekends, you're you're golden. Marathon Weekends, you got the clankers, and I'm not making fun of them. It's just these are the people because they ran the races, they got the medals, and they walk around. I think some of them are still walking around with the medals on, and they clank, 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 clank. Um, they're also walking bow legged because they just ran, and there, there's that. I guess that's a thing when you run. I don't know. I only run for buffets. To, to so. validate you, number four, what <laughs> barely didn't make the list was late January, got 19.3% of the vote. Yeah, it's January's a great time to visit. Again, if you're going to visit in January, pay attention to the event calendars when the races, when the marathons are going on, because those marathons are extraordinarily popular and they bring in, I mean, it's not unusual for usual for a hundred thousand people to come in to Disney world for that week, for a weekend where a marathon is going on. And it's a kind of a shoulder effect. So you got people that come in a few days early and leave a few days after. So if you can avoid those weekends, if you're not a runner, um, you, I think you're going to find the crowds a lot more, a, a lot more manageable. Mm-hmm. And again, like I said, the fact that it's right after Christmas, nobody's pulling their kids out of school. Everybody spent all their money on Christmas, so n- people aren't going to Disney World. Um, so that, and that historically has been the case. And I think Craig's point is well taken that the marathons have had. That's one of the reasons they do the marathons in January, because they get they get that bump and they need that bump then. So. That, there you have it. So, because my list is off, because I, I did it before the poll was closed. That's right. Um, so, give me the uh, best three again. Best three. So, number one, early December. Number two, early November. And number three, mid September. And the three worst. The three worst, starting from the least worst. Early, or, uh, we have the three way tie of mid July, early July, and early August. And number two, uh, late late june and number one worst time to visit is late july so there you have it our best and worst times to visit walt disney world that'll do it for this episode we hope you enjoyed it we'll be back with you again next week with another edition of the best and worst of walt disney world have a great week everybody